uh, Miguel Angel Moratinos, the former foreign minister of Spain. Well, thank you. Thank you for inviting me, give me this opportunity to talk to this important issue. Uh, let me say two preliminary remarks. Number one, that being a Spaniard, I really ask uh, to my Latin American friends to be condescended with me because in <laughs> Spaniard we have a long interest, moving interest, so we do with a, a lot of political and historical element, but uh, sometimes as the former, uh, you know, colony, I mean, we are not very well understood, number one. Number two, I will try to be not ideological. I will try to identify the challenges of uh, Latin America today, uh, either you are from the left or the so-called populist, on the left, on the right, and trying to be, trying to be objective to identify the challenge of Latin America today from a Spanish point of view and from an analyst international point of view. I will start by commanding the World Policy Conference to convey this uh, Latin American debate. It, it was an unusual, even there is not too many people. Well, thank you for being here with us, you know. <laughs> but there was a reason. Ten years ago, nobody will care about Latin America. It was not in the agenda <coughs> because the situation was going quite well. Latin America was growing in 5% average. There was no military putsch, no military coup. There was some uh, success story in Salvador, even at the end of the day, in, even in Colombia, the guerrilla went to the democratic processes. Even after the financial crisis in Europe, in Spain, and my compatriots, uh, they was queuing in the Brazilian uh, consulate because uh, Brazil was asking visa. So the new architect, engineer, was uh, rushing to go to Brazil, to Peru, uh, going out of the crisis in Europe. I was going to a Latin America, and they received me. Oh, oh uh, Spanish foreign minister, you have problems, eh? Hmm? You are in a bad situation, no? We are uh, now. So they didn't make headlines. But today I will give you three main headlines. Number one, a statement of the candidate of Argentina that the polls say that is going to win the election in Argentina, Alberto Fernandez. He said, the main problem of Argentina is the hunger. Can you understand? The most important country in agricultural production cannot feed his citizens? The hunger. Second headline. President Macron or President Bolsonaro, Amazon. What is going on in the environment framework? And what Amazon means is for the by diversity for whole, of course, Brazil, but for the whole international community. And what it means for the Latin America economy, not only the Amazon, but in Bolivia, the forest, and the raw material, the environment, the nature, because the Latin American economy has been, during the last uh, four decades, or even more, depending only on raw materials. Third headline, Ecuador, my friend eh, Rosenthal mentioned, indigenous people taking over Quito capital. Who could imagine five years ago, three years ago, that Quito will be, you know, invaded and trying to be uprooted from indigenous community to try to overthrow the regime? Three headlines that reflect the three main challenges of Latin America. And I will try to be brief. Number one, the economy. Either populists on the right or populists on the left. There has been no a serious economic policy 
in the majority of the Latin, Latin American countries. There has been a low productivity. Today, the figures you mentioned, they are growing at 0 0.5. Even Brazil, imagine Brazil, 0 0.8. Argentina, not only 0 0.9. Mexico, zero. And they are producer of the most important natural resources that combine and facilitate the economy of the international trade. No fiscal reform. You know what is the, the pressure of fiscal reform in Latin America? The average 10%. In Germany, 40%. In Spain, 38 In Sweden, 50 They don't pay taxes. They have not been introducing this fiscal reform from the left to the Bolivarian and whatever, to Macri or to any government has been in Latin America. So the economic reform should be addressed. Number two challenge, the environment, as I say, the Amazon is the symbol. What they are going to do with these resources? They can continue with this uh, extractive production I mean, uh, in Bolivia, they have lithium, they have gold, they have oil. Uh, well, okay, it's only agricultural product, natural resources, and how they are going to maintain and satisfy the sustainability agenda, the SDG agenda. They have to address this issue. And third challenge is the political and social challenge, the most important one. And that is the reason why today we have uh, still people in the street of Quito. And there have been many success stories, but one that, of course, is not so popular is Bolivia. Then we can discuss, maybe by people around me they were against uh, my position. But can you run, run, rule a country? I put the example of Bolivia where 60% of the population, 60% are indigenous. And that till 2003 and 2004, is only 15 years ago, they were not citizens. They didn't participate in the political life. They didn't vote. They were absolutely outside the political system. And Evo Morales introduced them and succeed to get them into the new reality. And today Bolivia is growing at 4% and we have a very nice uh, and positive economic uh, situation. I don't know if it's going to win the election, I don't know. So you cannot avoid to take into account the social element of uh, Latin American countries. Uh, with all my respect to my Brazilian friend. Of course you have elite, you have the economic, uh, you know, uh, class, uh, but if you don't address the situation in the social poor areas of uh, Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo, people will revolt. People will not accept. And that is one of the main concerns. What is happening, and I finish, in Argentina, why after the collapse of the Kirchner was a disaster, Kirchner. Okay, everybody know how much uh, uh, problem were caused by them, but then everybody was expecting that Macri will be the magic formula, neoliberalism and back, and he failed again. So the three challenges have to be addressed together, the economic, the environmental, and the social and political reform. Miguel, thank you for that very forceful and clear presentation.